Welcome to the new Loxomods config features. We are using the newest Forge, which is Forge 1152 for Minecraft 1.7.10. This allows you to change uh, the config files in game. So you simply go to Mods and then you choose the mod that you want and hit the Config button. Now for Loxomods, you'll get four new buttons, which will be Loxomod Mobs. Dino IDs, Biome IDs and Dimension IDs. In the mobs you can toggle whether you want a mob in game or not. By setting it to true then it will be there, which is default. Or you can put it to false and it will delete the mob from your world in your game. And you can reset all the default, you'll see that everything is on true. But say we don't want the aunt, the beer, the bee and the bird and the boar. And then you just hit done. And it will remember that. Um, for Dino IDs, you can change the number by just entering a new one, for instance, nine, and it will change the ID to that. And this is to avoid conflicts with other mods. The biome IDs can be set here. It's important to remember that the Dino terrain and Ice Age terrain use this number plus the next three. So that's why this one is 46 and not 43. You can also be set to every number you want. And here are the lots of mobs dimension IDs. And these are set to a negative number because there are a lot of mods out there that add dimensions. And most use positive IDs. And will often cause conflicts. But since there are a few that use a negative one, this will almost most certainly never give you a conflict but if it would just change it here and one very thing to remember important thing to remember after changing this is that you have to restart your game for the changes to take effect if you really messed up you can hit these buttons and will res reset them all to default again and that's how it works